Oh, oh my. All right, perfect. Welcome back to Altitude University. Hunter here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take off and land your drone right from your hand. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so first off here, you wanna make sure that you're in position mode. So you have position mode right in the middle, and then you got sport mode above and tripod mode below. So make sure you're in position mode. Uh, this is gonna make sure that you have obstacle avoidance on so that when you have your drone out and you're taking it off, it doesn't come in and smack you because the sensors can tell that you're right there. So it's gonna avoid you. So I'm not actually using the DJI Go app while I'm taking off my drone. You don't need to actually have your phone connected into the controller to take off your drone. Obviously, if you wanna see through the camera, you do need that, but you don't need it. So I'm gonna be doing it without the DJI Go app. Uh, if you want to, all you're gonna be doing is sliding to take off in the app instead of doing what I'm about to be doing with the controller. So what we're gonna do here first is I'm gonna get low with it so that I could actually put my controller down on here. I'm gonna put my drone out as far away from me as possible so that when I take it off, these blades aren't right here in my face, but they're far away, safety first. Put it all the way out like that, and then all you're doing with your controller is pushing both thumbsticks in right towards each other, so it's kind of a V. So let me show you that here. So I'm gonna be pushing them right here, so pushing them in, just like that. And you'll see now the drone down there is actually turned on. So let's turn it off there. So what we're gonna do is pop it up right here, just like that, and push both thumbsticks in, right there. And you'll see it'll now hover like that. So all I did was press it in for about a second, and now it's hovering right here. So now if I lift up on the up stick, that's gonna give it elevation. You'll see it'll start getting acceleration right there, and I can let go, just like that. Perfect, and now I can fly it just like normal, right here. So that's how you take off like that. And now to land, you're gonna switch into sport mode right here. Boom, pop it into sport mode just like that. And you'll see now we have a lot more mobility. Uh, obstacle avoidance is off in sport mode. So if I actually just send this directly into the wall, it's gonna hit the wall. Whereas position mode, it'll actually stop with obstacle avoidance. So what we're gonna do is bring it right here at about hand level and just bring it forward. So I'll bring it up a bit right here. I'm gonna walk myself to my drone. I'm not gonna bring the drone to me. I'm gonna have the drone set in a space and then I'm gonna walk up to it. So don't do this. Don't bring the drone directly at your face like this and then try and catch it. You wanna actually just put the drone in a space near you. So say right, right there, just right towards you. And once it's there, just walk up towards it, put your hand under it. Grab it and then push down and it'll turn off just like that. Great, so let's run through that again so that you can see. So position mode for takeoff. You're gonna put it right up here in front of you, just like this. You're gonna push down and in on both thumbsticks. Right there, it'll hover. And now you're gonna push up, accelerate it right there, let go. And now we have it right there. And then you go out and fly, perfect. A few minutes later, you wanna bring it back in. You wanna switch it into sport mode right here. Let me show you. Right there, boom, into sport mode. So that turns off obstacle avoidance when you're landing it so that it doesn't try and hover away from you while you're landing. And you're gonna bring it into a space close to you. Right there. Maybe a little higher. Right there, that's the spot. And I'm just gonna walk up to it. I'm gonna come up and put my hand under it right where I can see, right there and catch it just like that. So one last time, I wanna show you another variation if you don't wanna bring it in like that and you wanna bring it straight down from position mode. Uh, if you feel a little safer doing that, I'm gonna show you that option. So let's run through that again. Position mode for takeoff. Boom, pick it off right here. And instead of actually taking it out of sport mode, what I'm gonna do is keep it right in position mode and I wanna show you what'll happen with those obstacle avoidance sensors on. So even right now, it won't come close to me because it knows I'm right here. So it's gonna wanna go away. So what we wanna do, if you want it to just come straight down to you, just put your hand under it right where you can see it and you'll bring it down and you'll see that it's gonna stop. But you have to keep holding it down, keep holding it, and then it'll sense your hand right there. So if you wanna do that from position mode and you don't wanna have it right here and walk into it, what you're gonna do is have it above you 
and keep holding down the down stick. And at first, it's gonna avoid you, but then it's gonna sense that your hand is right there to land and it'll come right down safely to your hand. So I actually take off and land my drone for my hand every single time. I never take it off right from the ground. And the reason is, is because that brings a lot of variables into the equation, even if it is really safe to take off right from here. Uh, from your hand, you have the ability to put it anywhere you want in space. And you know everything that's around you, so you don't have to worry about hitting anything on the ground. Um, so if you're a beginner, obviously take it off like normal, off of the ground, get used to it, and then start with landing it in your hand. And then after that, slowly upgrade to taking it off from your hand. And all you're gonna do is push both thumbsticks in, or you can slide to take off in the DJI Go app, same process, and take it off, press up, so that it's gonna accelerate up. And then when you're ready to bring it in, you can bring it sideways in space, and then just catch it and push down to land or you can bring it straight down like that, put your hand under it, keep holding down until it comes down and recognizes your hand and it'll automatically turn off. Thanks for watching this and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners teaching aerial photography and video editing and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.